You're filming on set, but something is off. Composition looks good, but the color is all weird. Maybe it's the screen or your camera. Though it's likely gonna be your white balance. Understanding what color temperature is, is incredibly important to your cinematography. Your eyes automatically adjust, whereas your camera has to manually be told the white balance of any given scene. While you can fix this in post, and we will be going over a few things later in hit film, it's best to get your white balance as close to accurate in camera as possible, especially if your camera doesn't support raw or log formatting. Understanding white balance will save you a lot of time in the long run, and also ensures that your footage has the correct visual data for you to edit in post. I'm Tom from FX Home by Artlist, and let's jump into today's video. We measure color temperature in Kelvin, or K, usually in figures between 1500 to 10,000 Kelvin. And if you're new to filmmaking and white balance, here's a quick rundown of that range. Starting off around 1900 to 2000 Kelvin is candlelight and flames, giving off a very warm orange light. 27 to 3300 Kelvin is the usual range for interior indoor lighting. Fluorescent lights give off a temperature that is seen as natural white. Daylight can be between 5000 to 6000 Kelvin, but is usually sitting at 5600 Kelvin. Cloudy, overcast days are around 6500 Kelvin. Anything over 8000 Kelvin is seen as cold and blue, and can often be associated with moonlight. The easiest thing to remember is that the lower the value, the warmer the color. Higher the value, the bluer the color. White balancing is simply telling the camera what to see as white. Once you've chosen a value for your white balance, anything above that range will be colder and anything below will be warmer. This is why you need to set your white balance to the right tone. Otherwise, it can look very weird. Yes, the perfect white balance. Hi, I'm editing this video right now. And if you're enjoying it, then please do give us a like, subscribe if you're not already, and ring the notification bell. We do these videos weekly, so you don't wanna miss out on the next exciting topic. Back to learning about white balance. Now, let's talk solutions. The first step of solving any white balance issue is to understand the correct environments and the color temperatures. Done. Though unless you work in an environment where you can control the color temperature of your lights, you're gonna to need to familiarize yourself with a couple of standard scenarios that you'll find yourself in. Most cameras come with presets for the usual cases that can work nicely as a baseline. There is no shame at all in using the auto white balance, especially if you are a beginner. Your camera is probably really good at picking up the ambient lighting that is dancing around the room and able to make its own adjustments. They have been known to change and make these adjustments without prompting, potentially ruining a shot. If you're a more seasoned camera operator, consider switching to custom white balance and setting your own on set. You also wanna set the white balance yourself in tricky lighting environments that can confuse the camera's judgment. All you need is a simple white piece of paper or card, Hold it in front of the camera, dead in the center of the sensor, and either take a photo or set it to the new white balance. You'll wanna do this every time you start a new scene or the light has shifted. Remember that your eye automatically adjusts, so it's really good to get a friend or crew member or just set a reminder to give yourself a prompt to update the white balance. You will thank them in the long run. And last but not least, we can fix it in post. No matter what editor you're using, there will be some form of white balance tool in the color correction features, but HitFilm is free for you to use and also comes with an actual white balance tool. So let's figure this out. In HitFilm, all I'm gonna do is go over to the effects panel and type in white balance. You'll see that I already have this saved as a favorite. I'll apply this onto my footage. It's already set to white, but not my white. I'll disable this layer for the time being as it is already adjusting my footage. I'll head on up to the eyedrop picker, Choose my white. In this case, I could even use my t-shirt if I wanted to. Switch back on the white balance effect. And by looking at the scopes, you can see that it's changed our values. From here, we have a nice foundation for our color grading. From production to post-production, white balance is paramount to any filmmaker. If you don't know how to fine tune your white balance, start off with the auto and learn the basics with the presets. These days, raw files provide a lot of leeway and ability to adapt and amend after you've shot. Never give yourself a hard time if the white balance is shifted, but understanding white balance is gonna drastically improve your cinematography and understanding of light. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful, please do give us a like, subscribe if you're not already and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We do these every week, so we'll see you in the next video.